Hello everyone, this is JD from Benchmark, and today I'm going to summarize every single tool on the homepage in Microsurvey CAD. Before we get started, if you ever get stuck on what a tool does, always, always look at the command window. Once you click on any tool, the command window will tell you what MSCAD needs next, and you can almost always type, click, or hit enter to advance to the next step. Also, if you want to know what any tool does, roll your cursor over it and a description will pop up in the bottom left hand corner below the command window. One more thing. If you see a triangle below or beside a tool, that means there's a drop down menu with similar tools. So, the Home tab. These are the tools that you'll use 80% of the time. Line, polyline, circle, arc, rectangle, elliptical arc, and hatch marks allow you to draw each of these respectively. Move will move any selected object. Copy duplicates objects, while clone duplicates an object's type. Stretch displaces objects, but without disrupting connections to other objects. Rotate spins objects about a point. Mirror flips objects over a line. Scale linearly changes an object's size. Trim cuts off parts of objects using other entities as a die. Fillet rounds and chamfer cuts off the corner of two lines. Any of these arrays will create a distribution of copied entities according to a rectangle, circle, or path. Delete erases what you select. Explode turns complex entities into their simpler components. Offset copies objects and scales them to go through a point or distance. Explore layers opens up a window to see all layers and layer details. This drop-down menu up here allows you to select what layer you're currently working on. Layer States Manager allows you to save and restore template layer states. Change to Current Layer switches selected objects to whatever layers selected above. Set Layer by Entity does the opposite and switches the working layer above to whatever object you have selected. Set to by layer changes the properties of a selected object to by layer properties specific to the working layer above. These tools allow you to isolate, lock, turn on, or freeze the layer of a selected entity, and the tools immediately below will do the exact opposite. Layer match will change an object from one layer to another. Layer delete will remove a layer altogether along with all of the entities drawn on it. Moving on to the next box, text allows you to write descriptions on your drawing. Linear and its options allow you to create linear, aligned, and angular measurement annotations on your drawing. Same thing with center lines and its options, which create center line, diameter, radius, radius jogged, and arc measurements. Multileader and its options creates, deletes, manages, aligns selected, and groups selected multileaders. Table creates a table. Wipeout creates a box that will hide everything behind it. Revision Cloud creates a cloud like object that highlights a portion of your drawing. Create block, a block being a template of entities that you can repeatedly paste onto your drawing creates a block out of your selected entities. Insert block will paste one of these saved templates onto your drawing. Block editor allows you to preview and change saved blocks. Next, in the properties box, these three drop-down menus control the color, line type, and stroke width, respectively, of the objects you've selected. Note that some layer and property controls can be found right here for easy access, no matter what toolbar I'm on. Groups allows you to collect objects and organize them into different sets that you can select later. The point being, if you select one object in a group, 
you select all of them. Group Manager is the primary way to create these. Quick Group will create groups without clicking through the menu. Ungroup will delete a group, and Group Edit allows you to edit any group you select. On to the next box. Measure and Divide scatters points across a selected object according to distance between them or number of divisions, respectively. Quick Select can select everything on a drawing according to the properties they might share, which you can dial in. Select All will select everything on your drawing. Drawing Settings allows you to toggle all the settings pertaining to this main viewport and entity creation. Lastly, we have the clipboard box. Here you have your standard cut, copy, and paste that we all know and love, and that act just like any program. There's also copy entity formatting here, which will copy the format of the first object you click onto the second object you click. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps us out. And if you have any questions about this video or about any others on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at one 286 3204 or visit our website at bench-mark.ca.